home. Please don't Boys try this girls. at home. No, not, a, not at all. <laughs> no, please. You know, Jacksonville Beach's fireworks, they start at 9 o'clock tonight. Of course, here downtown, it's 945. But heading to the beach, there's a lot going on out there. Plenty of people out and about having fun and getting ready for this big night out yeah, Channel, at the beach. Channel 4's Vic Michelucci is there and uh, joins us. Vic, I understand that uh, you have been with police today, uh, understanding what they're doing to make sure people are safe today. Absolutely. There are so many police officers working, firefighters, lifeguards, first responders out here making sure that everybody has a lot of fun on this Independence Day, but that they are doing it safely. And that's why there are so many of them on duty all throughout Jacksonville Beach, just making sure that everybody gets out here and goes home without any injuries. Fourth of July is so crazy! If you're looking for a party, you'll find it here in Jack's Beach. Thousands are flocking to the area, coming in cars, on bikes, and skateboards. <laughs> but someone has to keep the celebration safe and under control. We have everyone um, on deck. Everyone's here. Commander Mark Evans is a 28-year veteran with Jack's Beach PD. And over the years, he's seen just about everything. I've seen a lot. I've seen uh, some fireworks go bad. Some people were really hurt pretty bad. Um, one year, just north of our city, a uh, big deck collapsed because they had a big party. We went inside the police briefing this afternoon. Jack's Beach have nearly 60 officers on duty, but they needed more because of the crowds. So there are a few dozen from JSO and other agencies also patrolling. Their priorities are watching for missing kids, keeping crowds under control, stopping any fights before they happen, and enforcing the open container law. No alcohol on public property. This is all about just making sure everybody goes home safe. Absolutely, because we know the people are coming. Um, we know that there's going to be a lot of people here. Majority of the people are here to have a good time and to celebrate. <laughs> Lifeguards and firefighters also fully staffed working together around the clock to protect the people. My advice is know your limits. Yeah, so you certainly got to be careful, but there is a lot of fun to be had. We are talking about a safety zone, though. They have this parking lot just north of the pier blocked off, and that's because the pier is shorter because of the damage from Hurricane Matthew. Therefore, the fireworks can't be as far out. So that's why police and firefighters are asking people to stay back in the area. That means for you, if you're coming out here, there's a lot less parking. So you got to make sure that you give yourself some extra time. Maybe be prepared to play to park, carpool, ride your bike. Uh, certainly going to be difficult to get a spot here close to the pier, but it's something uh, that police say you can do. Just make sure that you give yourself enough time. Live in Jack's Beach, Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.